what's up youtube is kazu kubak on your review now today i'm gonna do about the uh, ambush now i was supposed to get him with scoop but since i did and i did, did forgot to pay through the club for the two figures i got them through big bad toy store but i had to return scoop because there was kind of problem with my figure the box was open uh, the figure was a bit damaged so i had to return it um, sometimes it happens from big bad toy store and they said they're gonna send me a new one Hopefully. Anyway, as you can look, this is Ambush. I really like the artwork. It's similar to his vintage design. Like nothing has changed. I also like the figure. Now they, this is the figure. I, the, the original head sculpt was used from General Mayhem. The one we got from the Tiger Force set with the Iron Grenadier uh, that came with Metalhead. This is back of the cover. You can read this file card. Yeah. I'll see the artwork. Uh, I'm gonna unbox this figure and we're gonna talk later. So we're back and this is Ambush unbox from his Resources card. He does come with a small with, with his original machine gun, the, the green machine gun. I really like this design. He does come also with a small machine gun. Uh, I also like this. He also does come with a net that originally came with the Shadow Tracker, and then was given to the Croc Master when in the second wave of the 20, 50th anniversary that came with Blowtorch. Uh, there's also the fish. And he does also come uh, with the neck and the from the Dusty Pursuit of Cobra. I really like He also has a removable helmet. He does share, as I said, the head sculpt of General Mayhem. This is a quick screenshot from between the two heads. So you can have an idea. It kind of suit ambush. Uh, he does share the body from Dusty, the 25th anniversary line, which is kind of great. He does share the shoulders from, from Sergeant Stone, from Sergeant Stone, the Rise of Cobra, the lower hands here from General Colton from the Retaliation line. Kind of suit ambush. Now let's take a remove this neck as you can look here. It's really great. Now, I did read on some people saying that if you remove his uh, cloth or this neck, you kind of see he has a giraffe neck, which kind of the club could have arranged it a bit. They kind of, they could have uh, arranged a bit the head from here so it can fit, doesn't give him a, a giraffe neck. But if you want a more accurate ambush, then you have to remove it, but I might keep it with this one. Uh, as for articulation, he does have the ankle rotation upside and down. He does have shoulder movements. He does have wrist movements. Kind of stiff a bit, but now they work. His head is on a ball joint. And he can stand easily without his stand. Yeah, as you can look. Overall, I really like Ambush. I have now complained about it. Now, Ambush uh, is one of the characters that had so many figures in the original line and later on on different uh, toys. Now, he had he had another figure that which I left you three pictures of his original toys. Now the first one was his original tone, the same color deco from this one. The second one was a Dino Hunter playset that came with low light, which the color was so creepy for me. Uh, this is also the, the screenshot next to the three vintage ambush. The second one came during the Venom vs. Valor Desert Patrol, which we had ambush, gung-ho, dusty, stalker, snake eyes, and tunnel rat. Uh, these were the three O-ring figures during that ambush got. Now, Ambush did, did have other comic appearances during the Marvel comics. It appeared in issue 111, then 113, then 122, then 128, and 129. That was the original appearance of Ambush during the Marvel comic. Now, he did appear in the Devil Do. Uh, yeah, but he's, he was one of the most significant characters during the Deke series. Uh, now he first he was first seen in an episode teamed up with Pathfinder. 
they showed you how the relationship between these characters kind of worked out when Salvo was kind of brainwashed by Cobra Commander and they had to save him, infiltrate the G.I. Joe base since they were two of the two only Joes, not on house arrest. I also changed the knee pads for, uh, for Salvo, which you can easily stand. As you can look, I changed him. Uh, he did have many appearances. Now, what, um, his most significant episode for me were United We Stand. Uh, the second one was Evie I Found You, where a female Rage Viper was kind of the childhood threat for ambush. Yeah. Uh, now, people are saying that the mystery figure might be the female Rage Viper. I hope it is. We can all dream. And finally, one of the episode that Ambush got uh, was his major last episode. Was an offers and a Viperman with him, Pathfinder, and Topside. Now, I don't have a Topside figure, but uh, they, they had to infiltrate Cobra, disguised as Cobra officers, to know if General Hawk was a traitor. That also to give you an idea. Uh, why not compare him next to the one who has shared the same body with Rakondo? As you can look, how they share the same body. You see how they share the same body, except for the arms. Anyway, this is it, Kaizuku. Uh, Ambush, it's a great figure. I, I definitely recommend it. I have uh, really liked it. Now, I do have a complaint about his head. As you can see how his head is like a giraffe neck. But again, if you're a G.I. Joe customizer, you can a bit trim the head sculpt so it can enter easily. Or you can put this. It doesn't matter. It's up to you. It's your figure. You decide what you want to do with it. Anyway, I'm going to say something to my subscriber. I really appreciate we arrived finally to 10K. It means a lot. Uh, by the way, um, stay tuned on my channel. I'll be doing soon, uh, maybe in the next review or the review after, I'll be doing a giveaway figure. It might be a Pathfinder figure. If you're lucky to win a, a free Pathfinder figure, that's for my G.I. Joe fans. If you want a Pathfinder figure, I just to enter this uh, video is to wait my next video about my tour review. And I'll let you know in the next video. Uh, I forgot also to show you, this is a quick shot uh for the for the figures as all together now only missing in my collection is actually captain gridiron now i hope the club when they're making captain gridiron they use the retaliation trooper legs like the one from pathfinder you can see this if you color those kind of give the more accurate for gridiron i didn't like when they use bullhorn now bullhorn i haven't reviewed his toy, uh, I didn't feel want to review it because did a lot of people did it, but I was kind of disappointed with the lower legs they, they used for the, from the Chalk Trooper. I wish they used customs from Oreo Builder, the lower legs, which I left you links below, and one from Hint Tanks, from people who made their version of Boomhorn, which they had better legs, were more accurate to the version. Now, I wish when Captain Grenon, they do make this figure, they use the retaliation trooper legs which is kind of more accurate for him anyway this is it kazuku uh, uh subscribe to my channel and share the video if you, if you want and again much appreciate to my subscribers and i'll keep you posted on my next giveaway